Welcome again friends. In this video tutorial we will be talking about microtubule dynamics in during the cell division process. Right? Now microtubules are very very important structures, protein structures inside the body which is helping the cell to keep the structure, to make the shape of the cell and also during the motility of the cell it is very important. And uh, another important point is during the cell division. Now during the cell division process what we know is that uh, if this is a cell uh, the separation of uh, the chromosomes are the most vital part, the separation of sister chromatids and for that we are having microtubule organizing center which I am doing in this two point. This is called MTOC or microtubule organizing center. Now two microtubule organizing center uh, will be there in two terminal part of the cell and from this organizing center microtubules start to arrange. Now the microtubule uh, that we are he having here is a filament which is producing the filaments. Now that filament is kind of holding all those chromosomes structures. Right? So they are coming out just like this. Now these microtubules are small uh, a chain of proteins called tubulin. So tubulin proteins are there in the eukaryotic system which are the unit of microtubule. So tubulin I think it's in uh, yeah. tubulin is there. So in this tubulin small proteins and those proteins are arranged one after another to produce a chain and that chain is ultimately what we see in this picture, right? So if you zoom into the chain, it is made up with small tubulin proteins. Now the small tubulin proteins are having two different ends. One is the negative end, which is facing towards this microtubule organizing center. Another one is the positive end, which is coming at uh, the region where it interacts with the chromosome. Now remember, sister chromatids are always ready there. So sister, if I draw the sister chromatid, it will look something like this. In this case, this is the sister chromatids. They are having a joint. Now the joint, is this is the center region of the chromosome or the joint where the microtubules plus end will interact. Now this region is having a special kind of structure called kinetochore. It will look a structure like this called kinetochore. So this is called kinetochore. I don't know whether spelling is right or not anyways. So kinetochore is there. Now using this kinetochore, this positive part or positive terminal of a microtubule will interact. Right? Now in this case, so microtubule is coming. Let's say this is the microtubule which is coming from both this terminal. The dynamics of microtubule is very very important during the separation of chromosome, during the separation of sister chromatids. Because remember this is the two different chromatid, one is this, another and this, they are attached via this kinetochore region. These chromatids are called as sister chromatids of each other. Now during the mitosis cell division, what we know the sister chromatids are torn apart, they are taken away from each other and this division is carried out in this case usually. So actually uh, sister chromatids are segreg uh, segregated and separated there using these microtubules. And during this particular process, what we require, we require this microtubule to hold on to there, right? Because uh, because this microtubule is kind of thing which will pull the sister chromatids away from the center. Because remember, this separation takes place during the anaphase of the mitosis process, and the process of arrangement of the chromosomes into the center region of the cell occurs in the phase called metaphase, which is called the metaphasic plate. Now during the metaphase, all of the chromosomes are arranged in the middle uh, like an array and then the microtubules start to grow. It will catch those sister chromatids via the kinetochore, then they will segregate them apart. Right? So these are the sequential stages. Now during this process of taking the sister chromatid away using the kinetochore, they require this positive end. Right? The positive end is the end where the microtubule is growing. Right? So if this is the positive end, normally microtubule is having a kind of dynamics. They are not fixed, that uh, a fixed structure. Never. Because if they are fixed, then they will never probably separate the chromatids. Right? So the process here, there are two regions, plus and neg minus. So actually new microtubules, uh, a new tubulin protein start to form, they start to come and arrange there in the positive part like that. So they can grow and also they can shrink. So both of these things can occur, occur from the plus end. So they can grow as well as they can shrink. Right? So this growing and shrinking is having a balance like thing. 
right so growing at a particular rate shrinking at a particular rate right so this so what happened in this particular case first microtubules coming from both the ends of the cell are holding this sister chromatin via the kinetochore region i'm not going to talk about the structure of kinetochore in detail here so they are just holding uh, the region from the kinetochore from both the sides right now what they are doing they are kind of shrinking and growing so if this this microtubule is shrinking this is growing if this is shrinking this is growing to maintain a kind of balance if both of them start to shrink then it will create a lo lot of tension into this sister chromatid and the chromosome may be damaged for that reason it needs to have a kind of dynamics so growing shrinking simultaneously going on all these microtubules now during this process this growing and shrinking is actually mediated during just addition of tubulin proteins and removal of tubulin proteins but remember during the remove of this sister chromatid from each other it requires some more proteins and the, those proteins are called the motor proteins because remember in previous videos also in many videos regarding microtubules and actin filaments and also during the video on cell motility I have always told you that that in those process this microtubule or actin filaments they are kind of structural proteins they are giving the base they are acting as a bridge they are acting as a road but but there should be a motor vehicle that is holding the other things to be move to move on right so we want some motor proteins to take those uh, take this sister chromatid away right now this motor proteins that are used here in this particular case are two types one type mo of motor protein here is called uh, cenpe this is a kind of protein is seen here for the cell division another protein is said here is dynein right so actually there are other proteins like kinesin usually kinesin migrates towards the positive end in, and dynein migrate towards the negative end always keep this thing in your mind dynein moves towards negative ends and as it is itself moving towards negative end it is pulling the positive end thing right now cnpe is moving towards positive end so it means it is push pushing or pulling towards the negative end right so simply remember dynein itself move towards negative kinesin itself move towards positive cnp itself move towards positive right so in this case suppose you need to uh, push this chromosome to this direction suppose some need to push this chromosome in this direction so during this pushing process we require cnpe because cnpe uh, along with this process so what what cnp can do here cnp protein will come and cenp will be at us there and it will push this chromosome in this direction so cnp will be bound here in the chromosome and it it will push the chromosome in this direction right because cnp is migrating towards the positive end so it is moving towards the positive end and as it is moving towards the positive end it is recruiting more tubulin and as the more tubulins are recruited at this particular place the chromosome is pushed so chromosome is moving in this direction remember that's why i've told sometimes chromosome move at that sometimes this so during this movement at a particular limit after a certain time it will be fixed in the center of the cell and all the chromosomes are having the same condition with the interaction of microtubules after after a long time of pushing and pulling they will be stabilized into the center of the cell forming metaphase plate right now during this dynamicity it requires this this proteins which are called cnpe and they are pushing this chromosome towards this direction now if you want to push the chromosome in this direction similarly the process will be there cnp will be working from this orientation and it will be pushing the chromosome right so this is the action of cenp now if we want to pull the chromosome because not only one chromosome one activity not only activity of this cnpe will help this chromosome to move along with the activity of dynein and cnp the ta task is actually achieved now suppose you want to push this chromosome in this direction so simply you can use our cell cell is using in that case the cnp and cnp is pushing this chromosome but not only cnp uh, uh, is uh, the pushing of cnp is not sufficient to take the chromosome in that side but also we require 
dynein. Now dynein will be added there. So dynein, what dynein will do? Dynein will pull it. Now remember, if you only push, if you only pull, there might be a lot of shearing, there might be a lot of uh, pressure will be applied to the chromosome and chromosome can have certain type of damage, right? For removing that damage, what we are doing, we are making it very smooth. Cell is making it smooth. How cell make it smooth? That in this case, they are using two of the motor proteins. We are acting along with each other in the complementary way. For example, CNP is pushing. Along with that, they bought here dynein. So dynein, I'm drawing dynein with uh, with this green color. So let's say this is dynein. Dynein is pulling it in this direction, right? So dynein is a negative end protein. So if suppose, if suppose, you need to activate this pushing process, or you need to take this chromosome in that orientation. What we need to do? We need to act, activate the kinesin in this side and we need to activate a dynein in this side. We need to activate the dynein in this side. So let's say this is the dynein arranged, right? Now remember our actual goal, forget about this dynein, our actual goal here is to push this chromosome in this direction, remember. Now what we are using? We are using this protein called CNPE. So CNP is added. CNP will push the chromosome in this direction. But along with that we use this dynein. Now remember in this side also this is the plus terminal, this is the minus terminal, right? And dynein will migrate in this direction, right? And kinetochore is act and, and this CNP is acting in the plus side so it will be acting in this direction. So CENPE is pushing in this positive end and dynein from the opposite side is pulling it to the negative end. Now you see they are acting complementary, right? They are not acting against each other because if we activate the dynein in this side, it will go against each other and the force will cancel each other out, right? Because in this case, we are pushing it towards the positive end using CNPE and dynein is pulling it towards the negative end. And ultimately the chromosome is moving in this direction because uh, both the force are applied in the same direction. And that is very, very important to keep in your mind that the, both the fa fa both these pressures are applied in the same direction. Otherwise, it won't work. Now, similarly, if we need to pull it, if we need to pull this chromosome in this side, what we will be doing now? Suppose you need to pull it in this side. In that case, you need to activate dynein in this side and kinesin and uh, you need to activate uh, sorry you need to activate the CNPE in this side and dynein in this side because dynein will move it towards the negative CNP will push it towards the positive so ultimately it will move here right so you need to activate dynein and CNP in the from the opposite ends to ultimately get the result now remember if you activate dynein and CNP in the same uh, side then what will happen that suppose you are activating CNP in that and also you are activating dynein from this side. So what it will do, this, this, this CNP is, pu is pushing it towards this direction, so it is going this direction, pressure. Now this dynein will be coming towards negative and that this is the negative end, right? This is the negative end, so dynein will take it this and CNP is pushing that. So pressures are applied in opposite directions so they will cancel each other out and due to this huge tension the chromosome will break and we lost the information right for proper separation we need to activate these two motor proteins from the opposite side of this kinetochore chromosome and microtubule arrangement right so this arrangement is very very vital and during the cell uh, this sister chromatid segregation we have this arrangement in the kinetochore region and also during this process we need recruitment of tubulin or sometimes release of tubulin. So tubulin polymerization and tubulin depolymerization, both the things are occurring at same time with this along with this CNP and dynein activity. So that's in a sense is how microtubule dynamics actually work during cell division and I hope that's helpful guys. Thank you.